Man, what is the deal, YouTube family, man? Y'all already know, man, what's going on. Man. About to, you see, I finally, I finally got a haircut. Y'all know I ain't had a haircut in a long time. But I just pulled up to Whole Foods. Uh, uh, so today, we about to be getting these games in, man. Get a little bit of shopping in. Um, but I wanted to vlog today just to talk to y'all about will I be going back to the Cecil Hotel, man? And I will eventually. That vlog is on the way. But um, like right now, I'm basically getting ready to go to uh, Vegas and I'm about to slide over to Mexico. So when I get back, I will be going to the hotel. Now, a lot of people have asked me too, did I have any... Uh, like side effects or feel some type of way after going and i really i don't know because i'm not really a, a a dreamer like i don't remember like more than half of my dreams but i did have one dream in particular the night that i did go i just like uh do y'all like tamales I don't know if I could trust these tamales. I see that? I don't know if I trust them tamales. But, um, yeah, yeah, so look, I did have a dream in particular that I was just standing in front of the hotel the same night that I went, but it didn't really like, it wasn't a scary thing. I didn't feel nothing. It wasn't like a creepy vibe, you get me? But, man, hold on, it's kind of hard to shop and talk. Let me see. Today, man, we about to get some uh, some food. I'm about to make some burgers, actually. For me. Burger, salad, and some fries. You get me? So I think this might be kind of fire. I actually do need to get some dog food, too. They sell sage in here? That's crazy. I never knew they sell sage. I need some hamburger buns. That's what I'm looking for. These buns are hard. They're kind of cold. That's what? What the heck? What type of buns is this? Alright, I don't know why I couldn't shop and vlog. Like, multitasking is not my thing. But, um, dang, where was I? I don't know, so I'm gonna just start it back a little bit. So yes, I will be going back to the Cecil Hotel. I seen that I got uh, like 520 likes. And I think this time I'm gonna be more careful about talking about going back or giving a little like request because whenever I gave it, y'all just did it like, oh yeah. I said uh, five likes, y'all get like 100 and some, 160. I said 500. Y'all get like 530 of them. So uh, I learned my lesson. Believe me, I learned my lesson. But uh, hold on. So, so back to what I was saying, like I was having, I'm gonna just throw the camera right there. Dang. So I, I never had no, uh, oh, people was asking like, did I have dreams about it or yada, yada, yada. So I never really had no dreams about the hotel or no bad dreams or anything like that. But I did have one incident the night of, because I, I did the video, then um the next day, I, uh no, I did the video that night, right? It was like two in the morning. I did the video like three, four in the morning. Then I posted it to be posted the next day. Then I don't know, maybe I was just thinking about the video too hard. I did just have like a weird dream where I just kept on walking back and forth in front of the Cecil, right? So I don't know if that was somewhat like a creepy dream or something like that. Cause I normally don't really dream unless I'm like thinking about something like stupid, stupid hard. And so I think that was what it was. Cause everybody was like commenting and stuff like, oh, uh, you said you was gonna post another video, yada, yada, yada. But it's like, this ain't my whole, like YouTube ain't my whole life, right? Like I got an actual job, like I got family, like 
you know, just like regular stuff. So, um, I think that was the only situation because it just seemed like a lot of pressure to post the video and get the video like edited and everything else. So I think that was it. But then, um, I don't know. Okay, look. So it was this one incident, right? Two. So I, let's say I post the video, then maybe about a day or two days later, my bracelet ended up breaking. Now I want to say it was an onyx bracelet. It's a black onyx bracelet that I, that I was always wearing, like you can see in the videos. The bracelet broke. Now that's for like the bracelet is meant for strength and protection and stuff too. And so I went in the hotel with the bracelet. Then the bracelet breaks. So I'm like, and I had to brace it for probably, uh, not a long time, but a long time for me. Yeah, no, actually I didn't even have to brace it that long of a time. I probably only had to brace it for like two months and for it to break after I went to the hotel just seemed like weird. Cause the braces start getting like real, real weak out of nowhere. Dang, I dropped my phone. So I wonder if that was like a coincidence from being in the hotel, like the spirits and stuff, maybe the bracelet did protect me in a way if that makes sense but sometimes i feel like i just start thinking too hard about it to where it's like that wasn't even the case but maybe it was you feel me like i don't know i don't know i'm not big spiritual but i do believe in the universe giving signs and stuff like that so i think maybe that's what the situation was and then um the other little rainy day vlog i posted uh me and lex went to like a little um like a little, not gift store, it was more like a gems and different type of stone stores and stuff. Then I told her like, she was like, oh, get another bracelet, you know, for everything. And I'm like, uh, since the other one broke. But I'm like, man, I'm not about to buy another bracelet. Like these things like $20, like $30, like for what? And then I told her that, then literally that same day or the next day, um, the homegirl, Iris, she was like, oh, I got you a birthday gift. My birthday is February 14th, you know, so Aquarius gang, y'all already know what the deal is, man. So I'm like, okay, like I'm not, I'm not nervous or anything like that, but I'm just like, you know, who knows what the gift is, right? So it ends up being a bracelet. This bracelet right here, uh, Amethyst. Am 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 Amethyst? Yeah, I think that's how you pronounce it. But anyway, she got me a bracelet. So I'm like, huh, that's crazy. Cause I just said, I'm not about to buy another bracelet. You feel me? So uh, she ends up giving me the bracelet as a birthday gift. So I just thought that was crazy. Like, you know, but then Lex was telling me too, like, uh, like basically when you break a bracelet, it just means that you're done with that part of uh, not life, but you're basically done with that part of your little journey, you know? But it was really weird too because so basically my bracelet started just getting real real weak after the Cecil hotel like just randomly like I'm like why is it so loose like you see how this one is like tight it's new too but the other one was new too but it just started getting real real weak out of nowhere so I'm like I wonder if that was like the bracelet was protecting me in a way against the bad energy that was at the hotel you get me Cause it was just like straight random. Now I just woke up one morning and then got out of bed and then like literally the bracelet just like slid off my hand and just broke like, so I'm like, dang. I'm, I'm pretty sure that was a, like some type of connection. But like I said, I'm not real religious, but I did say my prayers after going there. And then I wonder, hmm. I wonder if my little brother had any kind of effects. I should actually call him and see. Hmm. But I like okay. So I'm gonna get my experience of going in there too. You feel me? Like I'm like I said, I'm not really big religious, but I understand vibes and I do believe in God. So I know my limits. That's why I said like I'm okay with going in places like that because if I listen to my gut feeling, like like y'all see me going in there, now I'm like, nah, some tell me like don't go too far up in there. Cause it was just like the vibe you could feel it's something something weird going on over there so my vibe the vibe was just saying like you know don't go any further and so i kind of just listened to that really and that's why i just did like i went inside but i didn't spend too much time playing around inside or 
showing y'all too much. Like I got in and got out. Like done deal. But man, <sighs> I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of nervous about going back and kind of skeptical. But like I said, I'm a man of my word at the end of the day. So if I said, you know, y'all give me 500, y'all did more than that. So I'm gonna see about going back. I'm gonna try to go back and do what it do. And then I promise y'all, this is my last video of messing with the CISO because, yeah, I'm not. Mm -mm. They ain't about to get me, put it that way. You feel me? But I didn't do nothing spectacular. I just seen some somebody in the comments was like, oh, did you sage? And, you know, I hope you stay blessed up and, you know, hope you uh, don't bring nothing back, yada, yada, yada. I don't feel like I brought nothing back. Like I said, I just had that one dream. Which I don't think it was too much of a deep, deep dream. I think it was more so me just mentally thinking about the hotel a lot. Because I had to edit the video. Then I had to post the video. Then I didn't have my charger for my computer. Then I told people I'm going to post a video like this day. And you know, like people was on my head about it. Like, oh, you said you was on post it. What time is it being posted? Like, I don't see a premiere. So I'm like, just calm down, y'all. I said I'm going to post it. I'm going to post it. But then, uh. Yeah, so long story short, there will be a part two. Um, I'm going to Vegas this weekend. Then when I come back this weekend, um, I'm going to Mexico. When I come back from Mexico is when I'll be posted. So I'll be posting in probably like two weeks, I'll be going back. Yeah, in about like two weeks. So please just don't rush the process. I'm gonna be posting other videos. Dang, I don't even have no other videos ready. But I'm going to be posting Vegas videos, I'm posting post the reaction videos, I'm going to be posting in Mexico. Yeah, I do have videos ready. Not ready, but I have videos like in the making. But I don't have a Cecil video yet, but like I said, I'll be posting in about two weeks. So just give me some time and bear with me. I got to hurry up and go home and pee. I got to go home and pee, man. My bladder killing me. I'll be drinking this little bang energy drink, trying to stay up. But, uh... With that being said, man, I'll see y'all next time. Like, I'm nervous, but I'll go back for y'all. I'll go a little bit deeper. Uh, but like I said, if I feel like something's wrong or something like that, something telling me don't go deeper, like, I'm not about to force my hand, you feel me? Like, I'm not the type of person to force my hand about the situation. But I will go back. I do it for y'all. You feel me? Y'all subscribing. Y'all running up the number. I think it's almost at like 10,000 views. So, like, that's crazy to me. Like, you know? <laughs> then I want to address this, too. Like, some people was like, oh, like, you need to go to jail. Like, that's breaking and entering. Yada, yada, yada. Don't click on a video, bro. Like, real talk. Like, you clicked on a video because I said I went inside. So, I'm nobody special. Like, how else am I supposed to get inside the hotel? Like... What are y'all talking about? So, let's just get away from that negative energy. If y'all don't want me in a hotel, like, if you think I'm, what I'm doing is bad by going into the CISO, then don't click on a video. Like, my channel isn't for you, you know? Like, go about your way. I'll do my thing. You do your thing. Like, it's no hard feelings. You feel me? Like, I'm a small, small-time YouTuber. Like, I don't, I don't really care. You feel me? Like, I'm not doing nothing too harmful. I'm not banging on all the doors. Like, I'm not, you know, I guess I am trespassing i guess sort of say but then my whole thought process too like what if somebody just randomly goes into an apartment building it's not like i did anything wrong i just went into an apartment building you could go into hotels i understand that the hotel is closed and maybe the way i went inside the hotel was wrong but did i do anything wrong like no i just went inside the hotel so i don't know I don't know, but there will be a part two to the CISO. Y'all gave me the 500 likes. That will be my last part of the CISO hotel videos. So this is going to be what, I guess my fourth video about the CISO. Like I said, I, mean, I know my limits, man. When you're playing with fire, it's like you could touch it, touch it, touch it, but don't, don't keep on touching it, man, because you will get burned eventually. So this is my last time. It's crazy. I'm getting like little chills even talking about it. Cause just the vibe of the, of the hotel, you can tell it's something, something wrong. You can feel the spirits, you can feel that energy. Um, but yeah, 
I don't know where I'm going with this, man. I'm tired of talking. I'll see y'all next time. I'm ready to go home. Peace.